Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you all doing today? It's been a while, I know, but I am here now and I am first of all going to show you guys what I purchased off Amazon to see if you might have seen these things. This is what I purchased. This It looks like it says Burra Burra, okay? And it is called an Anywhere Punch. I have never seen this before. I have never um, used one before, but I thought I would give you a, a little bit of a demonstration to see if you guys have seen one and if you've used one. So, I am going to follow the directions. I have my directions right here. And it looks like this will come apart. It is magnetized. So I'm going to take the top off and then this middle piece is magnetized also. So from what I understand, this piece goes under the paper I'm just gonna tear this down a little bit so this piece goes under the paper this goes on top wherever you may want to punch this supposedly is magnetized now where it goes how it goes I do not know, but I would assume that it has to be lined up somehow. So I think that's lined up. And then we take our top piece, and this is an oval shaped. Um, I did see a round shape also, and this one is 1.6 times 2.32 the size. So I am going to try to line these little magnets here up with the ones on here. And it does, it clicks right, you can feel it sort of click right into place. And then I am going to push down like so and lift the pieces. And here we have our oval like that. Very simple, very easy it seems to be. And there's the bottom and then after we get our hole, our little oval hole, we also have this cute little, what I'm going to use as a little tag. So yeah, I am pleased with this and I like it. Because usually when I have, um, usually when I use the ones that uh, have the little i got one right here. Punches like this. Usually when I use these, you can only go so far. And when you want to punch in the middle of something, this is an excellent way to do it. And um, I don't know if it has any other... Uh, oh, also, I got this on Amazon. Sorry. That's where I purchased this oval one. And I don't know if they have any other... Um, <clears throat> templates besides the oval and the circular, but um, I am very pleased with the cir with the oval one, and I am glad I purchased it. And I can't remember what the purchase price was, but I don't recall that it was very much. So um, yeah, I like it, Burra Burra. Um, Burra Burra Anywhere Punch is what it is called, and I got it off Amazon. If I can find the link again, I will uh, 
um, try to link it. You know, I have tried to link things from Amazon before and I don't think I'm doing it right. So um, I will give it a try and try <laughs> and try to figure out how to link things, but I am not computer inclined at all, as you probably have already found out. <laughs> so um, I will see what I can do. Maybe my son can help me. I don't know, but um, anyway. Uh, I showed you that. Now let's get on to something else. So this is what I made the other day. And this is um, what I would consider either a uh, uh, insert, a journal insert, or just to send to someone for... Um, Happy Mail or uh, Patreon or whatever you guys send out gifts uh, or surprises to. So anyway, um, this is what I, I made and um, I wanted to show you guys a replica, try to make the replica and make another one. And this is what I used to make this. Um, I did use uh, uh, Manila one for this one, but I thought I would try a white one and see, um, I'm pretty sure it will come out basically the same way, but, um, I wanted to try it on white this time. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, tickle in my throat. Anyway, so in here, we have a little side tuck right here, like so. And then um, I put a corner pocket here, but of course you can do any kind of pocket you want. And I put a little, couple little things in here for the corner pocket. I decorated that. And then of course you have the large pocket right in here and then when you close this up you can um, put a, another pocket on the back I put a larger pocket in the back here and then um, I just put a little a smaller pocket on the larger pocket just to you know you can you can make as many pockets you can decorate it however you want I just um, Threw this one together uh, two days ago I think so I wanted to share with you guys um, I don't know if I'll do the closure the same um, this way uh, this time because it's what happened was it was uh, a little difficult <laughs> um, it wasn't that difficult but it was a little more difficult because um, this is a brad right here and what I had to do was stick it through the hole and then get my paw down in here, way down here to uh, open up the brad. So it, it was okay, it wasn't bad. Um, because uh, at first I was going to put it through the whole, the whole thing right here but then I realized, well, if you did that, if you wanted to tuck something all the way down in, then that would stop right here because that would be through this bottom piece. So I decided to uh, try to do it this way and stick it in and then go through and open it up. But I think I'm just gonna do a different opening this time. I might give a different, you know, do it a different way and see what happens anyway. So this is the closure. And what I thought to use it for would be to, well, actually let me undo it again, <laughs> um, was to, in the middle of your 
uh, signature. You could uh, put it in right in the middle of a signature and then this would be in here and this would close and then this would close and tie and then it would be right in, uh, attached right to the middle of your signature. So that was my thought process, but like I said, you can use it for anything, um, you know, as a gift, as a signature insert, however uh, you want to use it. So let me put this aside. <laughs> Let's put this aside and see if we can make another one. So anyway, what I started out doing was taking my piece of paper, signature size piece of paper, and then I turned it sideways so I could have a little easier job at folding. And then what I did was put it about where you want to put it in your uh, on your page. And then that's how I measured to try to fold it to the size that I wanted. So that will fit in your signature just like so. And then you can either have this flip over as the top piece or you can leave it down and just have it folded like that. Now, another thing you could do, too, is to uh, add whatever you have. If you're going to put it in a signature, just go ahead and put down some ribbon or lace. And then just, if you wanted to, glue this right down. And then this would come across in your signature and be able to tie it to keep it closed, like so. So that's another way you could uh, use it. Anyway, let's continue and get some decorating done. So that's how I folded it. And then I went ahead and um, inked, inked all around before I even got started inked all my uh, places. And then, let's get this out of, oh, this is the paper that I'm using. Paper Studio, Theodosia Square. I uh, got this from Hobby Lobby. And that's where I got the pieces for this, for this particular job. And I'm going to set this aside somewhere out of the way where it won't fall, hopefully. <clears throat> so, I got uh, this ready to go, and I marked my pieces, I think, where I want where. And, oh, envelope. I wanted to let you know. This envelope is nine by six, so this is a standard nine by six envelope. And let's see, let's start, I think, with the front. I'm gonna find my front. What I did was in the paper pad, I just pulled out three pieces of paper that I thought matched okay. So, Let's see, I got this an extra. Let's see, I think I got this for the front. Or was that the side? I think that was the side. So was this the front or? Sorry guys, that's the back. 
So this must have been the front. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going <laughs> if it's not the way I planned it. Oh well, we'll just work with it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the front. And um whatever the size of the envelope was, this piece right here was four by five and three quarters. So this I made A little under five and three quarters by three and three quarters. So whatever it is, the measurement, I always go a quarter of an inch smaller so I can have a little bit of a uh, edge. I like to show a little bit of an edge around um, the perimeter of the Uh, of the project that I'm working on. I like to have a little bit showing around. Hence, that is why I will um, distress around it first. So I'm going to attach this right to the front here. Like so. Okay, so that's my front. And then on the back side, I am going to attach this one here. Sorry, I should have had these, could have had these all distressed also. <coughs> my, uh, um, allergies are absolutely horrid. I visited my children in West Virginia a couple days ago, and was lovely to see all my grandchildren and everything, but oh my goodness, my allergies and, oh, I was just hacking and just causing such a ruckus. And my son says, Mom, why are you always sick? And I said, I don't think it's anything. I think it's just my my allergies were horribly acting up. Oh, and um, under here, I uh, just put some book page on, on the underneath, but of course you can decorate it any way you want it, any way you want. And what I did was to do this, I just lined this up like so without going past the um, fold here and then turned it over and then I just traced around it like so. Got that on already. So in here, I wanted to put this and what I'm going to do is glue on this envelope because I don't, when you put this side on, just make sure you don't uh, um, glue down the pocket that you want here. I've got a little piece that came up right here. I'm gonna put back down. So this I want right side up. And I am going to, oh, I'm using art glitter glue. <sighs> Sorry guys, if I'm all over the place, I do apologize. Um, really, 
a little bit of a rough night last night. Um, I take care of my granddaughter on weekends. And um, at 1 o'clock this morning, or I should say at about 11 o'clock, she woke up with pain in her belly. And, um, and I meant to... <laughs> put the glue on the envelope here, but I think I'll be okay because I, um, I think I measured it so it wouldn't, so it wouldn't stick here. But um, just be careful when you go to do it. Um, sometimes it's better to uh, do the, put the glue on the envelope instead of the paper. I lucked out that time. Anyway, so I was uh, taking care of my granddaughter last night and she woke up in pain and she was feverish and it kind of scared me. Like, <sighs> I um, talked with her for a while and the pain wouldn't go away. So, um, finally I, I called her mom and dad at work and they came and got her and took her to the emergency room because she was just, you know, she was in pain and with the fever, all I could think of was like, you know, appendicitis or something like that. She was, um, she said it hurt under her belly button. So I, I was in panic mode and finally called her parents and they came and got her and um, took her to the ER and she was in there I think till about four o'clock this morning doing all kinds of testing and everything. So I didn't get much sleep and um, <clears throat> waiting to hear what, what was going on and they ended up really not finding much of anything um, uh, that would cause the pain. But I was just, you know, I was just glad that it was not appendicitis or anything like that. So, uh, but anyway, rough night. Always, you know, no matter how old or, or uh, you always worry about, you always think about the worst things is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I cut this the same way as I did the other side. I, I just put it down and then measured it. And um, I'm going to, I had this all cut to glue down. So, I apologize if I sound a little discombobulated in today, but I hope anyway that you're all having a good day. It's Sunday and uh, a little uh, cloudy and uh, cool here in North Carolina today. Um, West Virginia was really nice and warm, which is more than I can say for how it's been here in North Carolina. Got a little piece here sticking out, so I'm just going to clip those little ends. These are real easy to uh, mass make. If you wanted to make mass make these little things, they're really easy to um, there we go to uh, mass make. If you do have a Patreon channel and have a dozen or so Patreons that you need to make these for. Really fun. 
and real easy. Okay. So now we've got all our pieces glued. Uh, all together here. Now I want to put my glue back together before we have a mishap with that. And get my little <coughs> I think I'm going to put one of these on up here, but I'm not going to put this one. I think I'm just going to wrap it around the whole thing this time and try it that way. So I want to get my little hunting for my punch. I like the little, I don't have the, uh, what is it? I don't have the, I don't think the right size to make my little, to make my little, uh, Closures there. <laughs> Sorry. I've got this size, which is I don't know half an inch. I think but that's too small So and then I have the larger ones. So I use this size for um, making my little Closures and I think I'm Trying to think let me see I want to find a piece of paper that won't uh, blend in too much so I can see the, uh, the closure. That's not too bad. Let's see if there's anything a little darker. Ooh. Yeah, let's go with that one. I'm just going to punch out one of these. See what it looks like. Yeah, I like that. I do. So I'm going to, what if I got any scraps up here to punch? I don't. I usually try to put two together, so let me just punch out another one here. And I am going to glue these together. going to distress what you could do and this is what I want to do is to make up a bunch of these in assorted colors or maybe all neutrals and have these all ready to go is my plan but um, I don't know I just feel so uh, like it's hard it's being it's hard for me to catch up I'm just going to put that right in the middle of those two little green circles. Mark my little dot. I'm just going to eyeball the middle. And put it right about there. And make my hole using my large hole punch. which I can't see. Close enough, I guess. Made my hole. Getting my little... Uh, 
whatchamacallit that go. And I think I will use, I don't think I'll use the blue, it's kind of dark. Um, da -dum. let's just use the, let's use the gray. The gray wouldn't look bad. Now, I have a little problem with these where they don't make the hole big enough. So I take my awl and put it in the hole and stretch it just a little bit. So my, uh, see, then that makes that fit real nice. But first, I want to put it right down on here where I would like it and mark my hole. Make my punch. go and squeeze and there we have our little closure like so and then I'm going to take my go-to string that I usually use and I'm going to make my tie my knot like so this little piece off and then my thought was see if I can is to just take this maybe wrap around a couple of times and go like so for my closure like this, and that will be my closure. Less of a stress, but of course you can always do it um, the first way that I did it, but um, I wanted to try it this way and see how it would work out. I don't mind it that way, but like I said, there's many closures that you guys can um, use. Okay, let's decorate. For the front, I used some people. I don't know if I, let me see if I can. Find a person that might be okay on the front. And I think uh, I'll probably want some book page too, but let's see who, if we have anybody to put on here. Um, I don't know why, but I always go for, I like to go for the kids for some reason. She would fit okay. Oh, she's my favorite. I love her. She would look 
absolutely adorable there. Let's choose her. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think I want a little book page behind her. <sighs> Oops. Well, that wasn't too smart. <laughs> this is in a foreign language, and I love the font on this. I, I go to this all the time. And... Let's get rid of this. So we just have the font to work with. just this is fragile too so I'm just gonna tear it like so and see if it will go okay like this and she looks cute right there I like that. So let's distress. Love this book page. I'm just going to do it on my glue book because it um, tears real easy. using my scotch glue stick very carefully is so adorable. Get my cat back on here and distress her just a little bit around. A little cuteness. There we go. Use my art glitter glue on her. There we go. And I need to find out where this is going to lay so I don't I don't want her to be covered. She's so cute. What do we want above her? I don't want anything big like that. That's the wrong color, so it probably have to be. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It would probably have to be a butterfly.
Let's see. Might like to have some blue in it, maybe. too big. Let's see what we have here. Way too big. Some sunglasses, but those are too big too. <laughs> Smaller butterfly, please. Well, it doesn't look too bad with the paper, but it's kind of a different looking butterfly, huh? I don't know how I don't know how I feel about that one. It's it's uh, different. Let's try this one. I don't think that's the right color either. like that one or maybe this one <sighs> this one is smaller let's go with this one it's tinier and I was looking for a smaller one Thought I saw another one in here. Okay. And let's see if we got something we can put underneath it. Attempting to take off the back of the butterfly. I will be off screen for just a second. <sighs> Always have problems with these tiny little things. And I'm going to add some glue. just to give it some extra support. <sighs> just um, cleaning up the corners. I don't like uh, sharpness on the corners so I'm just cleaning those up a little Let's see if I can um, just make it a little smaller too while I'm at it I 
That's still awful bright, isn't it? You know, I really don't like that. Is that okay? You guys mind? <laughs> I just, to me, it's just so bright. I'm just going to stick this one down. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. But, oh, my gosh, it just, it's just so bright to me. I just wanted to change my mind real quick. <sighs> If that's okay, I hope you guys don't mind, but I will go with this one and put it right there. And I will save that for later. Okay, maybe a little tag right here. Just to finish it off, I got these from, um, and, oh, look at those little butterflies I had in there. Cute little butterflies. Didn't even know I had them. I got these from Amazon. These are Tim Holtz. Um, ephemera pack snippets. Um... Ephemera Pack Eclectic Collection, which is what I'm going to get into. See if I can get just a little something for the for the bottom here. That doesn't look bad. I'd like it to shine just a little bit more. Let's see if I got a a blue one or something a little darker. See anything in blue off the bat? That's cute. I like that. We'll just go with that one. It's not blue, but we'll go with it. one yeah I like this one better <laughs> oh goodness I'm sorry guys but I like that I like that one better because it's got some reddish orange which goes with my little butterfly that's why I chose this one so let's get this down Okay, I like that. Get my glue back together, put this away. Okay, so I am happy with the front. Now here, um, I had a side pocket here, which is fine. I think I will use some of this. And I want my side pocket to be... my 
little cutter here and I want that to be two inches I think two inches wide I think would be sufficient So I'm going to mark the bottom because I need to cut a little bit off the bottom. Okay. And then I am going to round the front corners add a little thumb hole distress three sides like so And there we have our little tuck spot. I don't know if I have anything that will go in there, but we will. Oh, let's see. That would probably look okay tuck spot for a little journaling card over here I thought about maybe putting a piece of this because I liked the way it went with um, that there and this I think if I remember right I put it three inches tall like so and I am going to mark where I want it width-wise. Do my corners. Got my little hole punch for a thumb hole. Oh, I remember now. Last time I did a uh, um, corner pocket. That's right. This time I'm doing a full on pocket right here so as you can see we can switch around and do things different um, different uh, ways and let's see if I have anything to put on Well, that's kind of cute right here. That was just begging to uh, be put down. And let's see. That's kind of big. That's definitely big. 
Let's see how that would look. Mm, doesn't look bad. I like it. Let's do it. These little, uh, these are little pieces of torn ephemera pieces. I love these. I also get those from Amazon and I absolutely love using them as little uh, background pieces. for um, certain decor. I'm gonna put that down first. And I was thinking maybe let's see how it looked on the side. I think this time I will put it I think I like it right there I'm gonna put it on the side uh, right here Then maybe put, I think he's too big. <clears throat> oh, goodness, reaching. I have anything in here. I don't know if this will, if this is what I'm looking for, but I thought I'd give it a try. I think that would look better over there. So I think I will try to find a little A little butterfly or something to go right here. Sorry, trying to get my little sticker apart again. <sighs> Takes more time to do that than it does anything else. And my thumb is sore. So it's... Oh, 
hard to get a hold of where I want to go, but I got it. Goodness gracious. I have more trouble with these things. him right in the middle. There. Okay, so we've got this and I want a little something behind him. Let's see if I can use this just to make it a little taller. This is um, one of the ends off my book pages. I always save these for this purpose. As little background pieces. Throwing stuff now. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oops tearing things apart here. Goodness gracious, get in there. Okay. So, we have our front, have our two pockets here. We have our um, back here. You can, if you would like, put a pocket, maybe a, a, you know, what paper did I use in there? Oh, let's see. Can't remember what paper I used. yet. There it is. I knew I had some left over. So I'm going to attempt to cut this in two. A, um, a little corner pocket. That could go right there. <clears throat> Gluing the sides, two sides on this one.
There we go. So now we have just grabbing a little something to stick in the pocket here. A little pocket here. Should have something on here. Maybe there's something right here we could stick on. He's tinier, I like him. Just uh, cleaning up some of the excess on him. I have got stuff all over the place here. Okay, let's get him down. Cute little birdie. He's looking at um, he's looking at the other birdie on the other side. we can put on here. Too big. Too long. That looks good. Okay. Ah, oh, here it is. There. So guys, I think we have completed our little project. Let's see if we can get this here. Go around and around, however you want to close it. I think I'll go this way. 
there we have it. And we can fit it right in a page. Or with one like this, because it does close like this, you would uh, send it as a um, uh, Happy Mail or Patreon or um, anything like that because you couldn't stick it in a book unless you had a different closure. So we have the front, we have the side with a little tuck spot, we have uh, the back side um, with another little uh, pocket there and we have a side pocket tucked there and there you have it that is our little um, project for the day and here are the two One's a little thicker than this one, so you might want to, if you're going to tuck them in um, a signature, you might want to try to keep it a little uh, thinner, which is this size here, which would be perfect. This one is a little thicker, more um, embellishments and everything, which you would probably give away as Patreon or something. So there you have it, guys. I hope um, you enjoyed this little project and that I didn't get too obnoxious with my coughing and um, undecidedness and whatever. I really appreciate you guys um, visiting me on my channel and crafting along with me. I have no, um, you know, I'm not a seller of this at all, so I have no ties to Amazon at all for that. Wanted to get that in there, and I enjoyed crafting with you today. I really appreciate you all. Please, um, if you like my channel and want more of the same, or <laughs> to craft along sometime please comment like and subscribe to my channel i am still trying to get that 1000 subbies so i can have a a nice um giveaway for you guys i know i've been trying for that for a while but um for those of you that are new uh going through three cancer surgeries have really put a damper on my <laughs> crafting and everything so I really appreciate those of you who have hung out with me and stuck by me through that little stretch um I hope and pray that nothing interrupts us again and we can continue on so you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend I love you all and I hope you have a blessed day bye bye for now